Welcome to Hip Hop Closet's YouTube channel on men's style, fashion, and everything else that's fly. With your man, Flyzel Washington, right? We're gonna focus on what you're gonna need to help you get through the seasons. What season are we talking about? Fall season, cold season, and cup the season. There was an article in Men's Health Magazine in March 2012 that introduced the term in clothes cognition, okay? And that's the influence clothes have on the way you think, feel, and behave. I'm not heavily weighing on the term clothes make the man. You have to perform. If you're at the office and you're giving a presentation and you have a $6,000 Armani suit on and your presentation sucks, it kind of doesn't matter what you have on. Clothes somewhat makes the man and augments his status, but it's your performance, all right? In this segment, we're focusing specifically on the Sherlins and the Sheepskins. Everything you want to hear, everything you need to know, okay? And speaking of need to know or being on a need to know basis, we're bringing in the co-owner of Sweet 607 and Hip Hop closet.com Kaisha glad to have her on she's gonna answer the couple of questions that I have and that you may have pertaining to the differences and similarities between the two a Sherlin and a sheepskin coat I want to introduce to you the owner the lady herself Kaisha owner of Hip Hop Closet What's up, y'all? She's going to bring her expertise into instructing and informing you the similarities and differences first of a sheepskin and a Sherwin coat. So without any further ado. So the basic difference is that the Sherwin is the hide of a lamb. Okay. And the sheepskin is the hide of a sheep. There you go. When you process and manufacture the hide, you can either give it a napa finish that feels like leather, mm -hmm. or you can give it a nubuck finish that like feels like nubuck or suede. Mm. But it's still all either a sheepskin or a shirling. As I'm kind of like feeling on myself a little bit on my on my fur, I noticed at the top. Would you consider these the collars fur? This is considered wool. Okay. It's not considered fur, okay. and it's attached to the hide. So see? So it's all wool. It's all wool. Okay. All right. Now, for example, like this is fur on top of the wool. See, the wool is here, and then this is fur attached. And this joint is the hotness, yo. I mean, all of them are hot, but. So let's go to another question I have for you. Another question I have for you is. I already know what you're going to say. <laughs> yo, why is it so expensive, yo? Like... I mean, okay, so they are, they're kind mid-tier because you know furs can get way up there and furs can furs make okay. well make is a fur you know ah. it's because the fabric the hide is an expensive fabric or hide so it does require a process of tanning and okay. dyeing and manufacturing and that takes a lot of skill another question i want to ask you is when it gets wet and it's raining outside, what do you do? What happens, Kaisha? You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. Hey, hey. Look, this leads me to my little experiment. Nice. Right, so here, hold that. Okay. So, a little water on it, and what happens? It just kind of beads up and comes off. Like, it's naturally water repellent. Okay. You can go out and get it a little bit wet and nothing's gonna happen. So it's like, not gonna crack. It's, it's gonna... not gonna crack. Like you might get a little bit discoloration while it's wet. Right. But it'll dry. Okay. Exactly. You see that? Like I've sprayed these a number of times and they dry exactly the same. Okay. And it won't seep all the way through because the wool is so nice and thick. It protects you. So the outside can get a little wet, but it won't come all the way through. Sweet 607, you pretty much have everything in house where we don't have to go anywhere else. We can hook you right up. Come visit us. A lot of people are asking, where are we located? Okay. So we're in the Brooklyn Navy Yard in Brooklyn, New York, 141 Flushing Avenue, Sweet 607. However, 
you have to make an appointment because we want to give you the attention that you deserve and that you need when you're purchasing these coats. Boom! Flaza Washington here. So, everything we needed to do, we did. We let you know about the fabrics of the fall. We let you know about the fabrics of the winter. We covered those seasons. Flazel Washington wants you to know this is the hub. This is the stop to go to for your style and fashion advice and tips, especially for the winter where we have oh so fly coats for you, those fly jackets, fur vests, all that good stuff. We got for you. In Suite 607, Sherwin and Butter Leather Heaven, right? Okay, good. You let us know in the comment section which one you like more, okay? Depends. Even if you don't like it for yourself or on me, we have various different kinds of your choosing. So, to you guys that's eccentric out there that like different types of colors and it's all out there, doesn't matter. No one opinions about you rocking these coats matter, your opinion matters, okay? So I used to tell my peoples, I don't care what you think about me, but I care what I think about me, so I need you to focus on you, okay? Flyzel Washington, your man Sean Don, the Black Fonz, we out.